Damn it! Oh, hello YouTubers, I'm Big Ontario, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda, a Link Between Worlds. Episode 8. In the last episode, we did a bunch of collecting, got ourselves a lot of hearts, and got ourselves another empty bottle and stuff like that. This episode, we're taking on the next dungeon! Tower of Hera. Even though I swear I'm butching that up, but whatever. Nyeh. Nyeh. Squeeze. Now this one is basically just, well, a tower. It's actually a pretty thin tower. You can get through this dungeon really quick, and I'm probably going to do that. So we're probably going to do more than just this dungeon in this episode. Da -da 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 Man. These things are laughing at, laughing at us. We must complete the dungeon. I hate those things, by the way, because they're like spr they're like fancy things that knock you away. It takes two swings to kill them as well. It gets worse later on in the game, believe it or not. And for some reason, that kills it. I don't know how or why, but whatever. Get ourselves the compass. Now we can see everything in the dungeon, even though it's pretty much just a straight shot up. Well, kind of. Ah, eh, you'll see as we go along. Squeeze. In the original Link to the Past, this dungeon was literally like one of the worst dungeons. Mostly due to the fact of the boss. The boss is basically the same, but I think they've made him easier than in the original. Da, 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 da. And the fact that I've said that probably means I'm going to have an incredibly difficult time with the boss. Hit this, go up here, get the small key! And now we're going outside, what? Yes, we gotta travel. On the outside now. Stabby. Well, Stabby. Stabby! Now you gotta watch yourself along this because you gotta time these well and keep an eye on your energy meter. Uh, okay, get across here onto this one. Hello, aren't I creepy? I'm a link puppet. Um, okay, that's just hearts. Let's just go in here now. These skeletons. Not the hardest things to beat, but honestly, they're still annoying. Spin! Ow. Ow. Ow! I actually said that right before he hit me, but somehow it was like I was psychic. Up, up, and away! Ba-bing, ba-boom. Hello, blue groups. Yeah, you will notice pretty much every single chest in this game, via a few monster parts, is pretty much just going to be rupees. Oh no, we're going to be pushed out! Nope. Just watch yourself and you'll be fine. It's a diagonal Beyblade! No point going in there. My energy! Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Ah! Yeah, just down there is just some roops. Then again, I suppose there is also, over here, more roops! But a lot more roops. <coughs> in a sense, I guess you could say that is worth it. And I could have sworn then I fell off the edge, but luckily for some reason the game didn't let me fall off the edge. Hooray! Oh no. By the way, these skeletons are the upgraded ones, because when they jump, they throw bones at you! I guess you could say they certainly get down to the bone. Da 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 da. No, 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 no. No, oh, I win. Boom.
Okay, we've got our shortcut, and now we're gonna go up. We gotta be careful up here. Because of ways to fall down. So, on these two, though, you're gonna wanna fall down for some good tea. I don't even know why I keep doing that. And we're gonna wanna fall down here and grab ourselves the key. Da, 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 da. Not gonna lie, this game's been easier to uh, let's play so far than I actually originally thought it was going to. I think the reason why I thought it'd be harder is because, well, it's a DS game. Well, 3DS game. But, believe it or not, I'm actually not looking at my 3DS while doing this. I'm actually looking at my PC. Okay, we're not gonna jump up there just yet because we want to get that chest. There we go. Silver Roops! I don't know why there's an energy pot there, because you don't exactly use your energy to get to here. Kind of feels pointless. <coughs> right, we're almost to the top by the way. I think the top floor is floor 10, and we are on floor 9. Wait, what? I thought it was just on floor 7. Did we just jump two floors? Oh well. Just gotta wait. Ugh. Time it. There we go. Look out! Just hold your shield up and you're done. Da 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 da. Finished. By the way, yes, we did skip two floors. Cause, by the way, gonna want my butterfly net. We're catching that. I caught two fairies at once in myself. Okay, that sounded much weirder. But, oh well. Up, up, and away. Goodbye! Goodbye! I did, wasn't even involved in that one. Let's just get rid of these enemies. I wanted to be up there. And then just hit these four switches. For the love of Gah! Yes, for the love of Gah. I'm watching Fairly Our Parents lately. Leave me alone. And this pretty much, I do believe, pretty much just leads straight up to the top. Okay, kinda. We still got one chest left. The big chest. <coughs> oh, the big key! And then we just go to the left and we're pretty much out of here. Woohoo! Don't you knock me away. Yay! Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da. Time to head up to the boss! Got ourselves some hearts around if you need it. And boss time! In the original game, this boss was a royal pain. I guess you could say he still is. I did not mean to fall off. Luckily though, they changed it so that way if you fall, you actually don't lose the damage that you've done to the boss, I do believe. Damn it, I missed it. Ah! Okay, he's red. He's angry! I missed. I missed. I missed. Uh. Okay, you know what? Forget spin attacks. I'm failing hardcore on those. <laughs> One more hit. He's super red. Super angry. Okay, now one more hit. <laughs> ah. I think this boss's name was Moldor. I think. <laughs> and Heart Container. 
And the final pendants. <coughs> the pendant of power. It makes you feel well powerful. What's this? Hear me, Link. You have done well, my young hero. You've acquired the Pendant of Wisdom and the Pendant of Power. Now that you have all three Pendants of Virtue, you have proven yourself worthy of the Master Sword. You will find the blade deep within the Lost Woods. Go now, claim what's rightfully yours. Maybe next time I'll sure a dong grow a wrong. Yeah, sorry, couldn't help myself. <laughs> Yes, I will actually end this episode here because the past few episodes have been kind of a little bit long and I weren't really planning for that for this series because this game is super short. Seriously, I could beat this game in only a fair few hours, so I don't want this series to end that fast. No, 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 no. So, that'll do it for this episode, guys. In the next episode, I'm actually going to meet you over in Kakariko Village. So, see you next time. Bye-bye! Damn it. Damn it.